everyone and welcome back to my channel i am coming to you with another makeup video i am so excited for this my last makeup video did extremely well so obviously i'm so happy to be bringing back the makeup content i feel like i'm so much better at makeup content than any other content because i just feel like my life is too boring for vlogs <laughs> so it's just after christmas i have accumulated a few new bits of makeup probably not enough for a full face but definitely enough for most of it to be a full face i have loads of stuff from technique i have be perfect i have maybelline i have elf I literally have a whole new set of Lorac brushes i'm so excited to try so i'm not going to make this intro any more long-winded and let's just get straight into it just to speed up the process a little bit i'm gonna go in and do my brows off camera i'm gonna use the technique ultimate brow kit look at how cute this brow kit is mini tweezers too many brushes you get a wax and you get oh jesus you get three different color powders i am gonna go in with a mixture of this shade and the lightest shade just for the front of my brow so i'm just gonna pop off and do that now Okay, brows are done. I know I look crazy. I promise once I sculpt them out for my eyeshadow, they will be fine. This is actually really good. It really reminds me of the Carter Beauty one. If I had to pick, I would say the Carter Beauty one, but it is very, very similar. I'm going to start with my base today. Usually I do start with eyes, but I have much more exciting base products than I do for eye products. We're starting off with another Technic product. This is the Vitamin C Brightening Primer. This is giving me like Ola Hendrickson, very expensive vibes and Technique is actually known to be a more cheaper brand. I love Technique. I used to use these when I was so, so young. Um, hello. I'm just going to take my hands because... Oh, it's very soft. It's very, very soft. Oh, it smells like oranges, which vitamin C <laughs> tends to. Okay, that is it all rubbed in. My face feels so sticky. I am going to give my hands a wipe because I have a cream jumper on. <laughs> and there definitely is tint in this. I will say though, even though my face feels, it's kind of uncomfortably sticky, it has given me a fab glow to my skin. The next product I have to try is this. I have wanted to try this since it literally keeps popping up on my Instagram every day. This is the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Perfector 4-in-1 Glow. It's saying it's a primer, it's a concealer, it's a BB cream, all that stuff. I'm going to take this as if I'm to use it like I would use the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. And I'm going to pop it on under my foundation. And I'm going to take one of my new brushes from my set. This is the brush set. Look at how fab. This is literally my aesthetic as well. If I was to come out with a brush set, it would literally be in a cream leather case like this. And literally, look at how fab these brushes are. I'm actually going to take this brush to blend it in. I got my 4-in-1 anti-aging blah, blah, blah glow thing in the shade 01 Light Clear. They look quite dark and like the one that I was going to get was like light medium and it was so dark and I was like that's going to be way too dark. But now I have a feeling that it is going to be like Charlotte Tilbury and sheer out loads. Okay I have some of it on the applicator. I'm just going to kind of swipe on my face where I want it. I hate applicators like this but only I'm going to be using this. So it doesn't actually really matter. And I'm just going to take my Lorac brush to blend that out. I'm just going to add a little bit more to see. Can I build up any sort of coverage in it? I know it says it's a BB cream. Okay, that is that all blended in. 
it is really nice it's really lightweight there is such a nice glow off it there is absolutely no coverage i think maybe i probably should have used a denser brush but then like if i was using my charlotte tilbury i would blend it out with a brush like this obviously i know it's not charlotte tilbury i do like it i definitely will keep using it look at how much it's gone down already i had to twist for like a good two minutes before anything even popped up on the applicator the next product i'm going to use then i've had for a while i don't know if i've ever used this on camera i feel like i probably have but ages and ages and ages ago this is the pennies my perfect color double coverage matte foundation mine is in the shade light beige this is meant to be a dupe for the estee lauder um oh what's it called estee lauder foundation what is it called i have had it before it's absolutely brilliant i had it ages ago i obviously don't have it now i used it all so at least i know what i'm to expect oh this has never been used so i'm a liar if i said i did use it because the pump is actually still in the top of it okay so obviously i had never used this oh my god the Estee Lauder one to me always smelt like sun cream. This has SPF 15 in it. And the Estee Lauder always smelt like sun cream to me. This is the very same. Okay, I'm literally just going to dab some on my face. Take my Rebeluna Aura 01 and start to blend. Oh my god look at this foundation i am shook the color is unreal as well what color do i have light beige i bought this ages and ages and ages ago i don't know if you can still get this if you can when i say oh my god it's raining and there's towels out i need to go i just had to run downstairs i'm literally out of breath i'm the only one here and there's towels out on the line and next thing i knew i literally just heard lashing rain <laughs> this foundation i cannot get over it is from a girl that literally wore estee lauder every single day until that bottle was empty this is an exact dupe okay moving on to concealer I remember like months and months and months, like probably actually years now, everyone was raving about this Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline. I got mine in the shade 03. I, I kind of got like a lighter one. So I'm super excited to use this. I'm literally just going to conceal in the places that I would always conceal. I probably could have got maybe a shade or two darker. But I went to Superdrug and the Superdrug I was in just didn't have the best shade range. But we can, we'll can deepen up my face with cream products anyway. And I'm just going to do what I always do for my concealer. I'm going to take a flat brush and a fluffy blending brush. And basically pat my concealer in everywhere I want it just to keep the coverage. And then once I kind of have it blended... I take my blending brush and just very lightly blend out the edges and I'm just going to do that basically all over my face. I did have two cream products to use. I have this e.l.f. putty blush and I did have an Illamasqua gel blush. I cannot for the life of me find the Illamasqua gel blush anywhere. I bought it last night in work. This is the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Blush. I got mine in the shade Mau, Maui. It's M-A-U-I. It's kind of like a mauve pinkish reddy tone. To me, it actually looks like lipstick, but we're all about trying something different on this channel. I'm going to take a fluffy eyeshadow brush and... I'm actually going to use this to apply it to my cheeks or maybe my finger would actually be better yeah okay oh I really like the color 
okay i have applied loads i absolutely love my blush i would prefer if it was a little bit more pigmented i am going to be applying a powder blush on top of it so to me cream bl cream blushes are kind of just like a primer for a powder but you definitely can see it it's pretty i didn't have a new powder so i just went in with my laura mercier translucent powder and set my face i'm now going to be popping in and basically just putting more dimension to my face now this is my favorite bit adding the powders on top of cream i have two face palettes i have this technique blush palette oh fab this color is just calling my name i have this from be perfect i don't know how to say this woman's name i did not watch watch love island this year i haven't really seen much i know there's been loads on instagram about love island and blah blah, blah when it was on i just didn't take pay any attention is it ekin sue that's how i'm gonna say it i am so sorry to the people that i'm probably triggering right now because i'm getting it wrong how luxurious is this look when i open it palette is literally just sitting in a box it's fab and i'm gonna take the palette out and show you this palette the minute i seen it i was like i just have to have that look at the colors in this oh my god i'm gonna go in with a brush like this i like to go in with a smaller brush and i'm gonna go in with this shade here the the shades are actually on the back of this box this is the shade chocolate <laughs> and i'm just gonna start warming my face back up that is that shade literally all over my face it looks crazy and dark now once i apply my blush my set and spray everything it will blend together do not worry you need to trust the process but next i'm going to take this shade this kind of brightening light shade up here it's in the shade carbonara that's the name of the shade if you know me or you follow my makeup or anything you know i love a good brightening shade so i'm literally going to take my brush and just dab this under my eye just to give it a bit of brightness it actually does add a bit of brightness i don't know if this is actually advertised as a brightening shade i don't think it is but it's what i'm going to use it for and now i'm going to bust out the technique palette the technique makeup in this video so far has really impressed me to be honest because it's quite cheap it's quite cheerful and it's it's been really good so far okay so this is the technique blush palette warm edit oh my god how cute oh these two are calling my name so i'm gonna mix them pat my brush off and just dab back and forth oh oh my god it's so pigmented i really like that blush palette that actually might become my new favorite blush <laughs> and i'm popping back in to this Ek and Sue palette I really hope that's how I'm to say her name and I am gonna go in with the highlighter it's like a beautiful champagne gold color I'm actually gonna go in with this big fan brush from La Rock. I used to always see who was it I think it might have been Laura Lee when I was younger I used to be an avid YouTube watcher and everyone had brushes like this from morphe and i've never owned one and like i said we're gonna go in with this and i'm just gonna very lightly dust that onto my cheeks oh my god look at the glow i absolutely love highlighters that are this color look at the glow on my skin from this highlighter again don't worry when i put my setting spray on it will not be as intense it'll all kind of melt together i'm gonna do my eyes now i have two palettes that i could go in with. i'm not gonna do anything drastic on my eyes because i'm just not <laughs> i have this technique palette this is the peanut butter and jelly pressed pigment palette it is literally every warm eyeshadow gal's dream it is fab but i think the second palette i have is going to be the palette i use this is the second palette i have it is the carter beauty cherry bomb palette i got sent this 
oh my god at least two months ago now and it's still in the package and i haven't used it look at how fab this is i know you're saying oh my god you just said you're not gonna do an extravagant look this literally this eyeshadow palette is full of pressed glitters pressed pigments but i am literally just gonna use the few matte shades that are in it to sculpt out my eyebrows and just kind of pop a tiny base down for my eye i'm gonna actually zoom you in a little bit more i'm just gonna take a bit of this maybelline and pop it on another reason why i'm not doing a very extravagant eye look is because i'm sure you can tell i have my eyelash extensions back and the more extravagant makeup you do when you have these on i find the quicker they all fall off <laughs> okay so i'm gonna go in with the shade nectar which is this shade here on a very big fluffy brush and i'm literally just gonna blend this all over my lid and then i'm just gonna go in with the shade firecracker which is kind of like a deep mauvey mm, purpley brown shade and i'm literally just gonna pop that into my crease and i'm just gonna go back and forth with those two brushes just until we are all blended out and then literally just to finish it off i'm taking a small flat top brush and i'm gonna go in with the highlighter from the palette which is this one here and i'm literally just going to apply it all on to the inner corner of my eye how cute and simple and it just literally gives you an eye look in two minutes i knew i was gonna love this palette my favorite palette ever is from character beauty it's the warm velvet palette so i know their eyeshadows are absolutely brilliant pop i'm gonna pop off now do my other eye and then we can come back and sort our lips out i forgot i even had these i had this technique mega lash and i also had this technique eye crayon so i just popped the eye crayon in my waterline and i popped on the mascara on my bottom lashes i have two lip products from be perfect and i have one from the makeup gallery the be perfect lip liner i got the pout line lip liner in the shade peck it says earth brown it is quite dark brown but i feel like i'm going to be able to make it work and i got the be perfect double glazed lip gloss mine is in the shade pink frosting i think this is absolutely unreal look at the color of this i don't really like extreme pink but i feel like when it's a gloss it's gonna sheer out loads so i feel like it's gonna be really nice well i hope so and then the makeup gallery lipstick i have is the get lippy moisturizing lipstick mine is in the shade one feisty is this not just the perfect nude i have another lipstick from the makeup gallery except it's in this different packaging and this one is in the shade london when i say this is a dupe for mac velvet teddy i have mac velvet teddy it is one of my favorite lipsticks ever this london lipstick from makeup gallery is an absolute dupe here is my finished look i had to redo the lips because this gloss is a big fat no from me i really thought it would sheer out and just be like a really sheer gloss with a hint of pink which most glosses are but like i just obviously underestimate how good be perfect are this gloss comes out this color it is so pigmented oh my god the gloss there's nothing wrong with the gloss it's just the color does not suit me at all but the lipstick and the lip liner i absolutely love everything on my face i absolutely love which i can't believe considering i used so many new products i have really fallen in love with technique oh my god i've never used as many products in my life from them they are absolutely fab maybelline perfector is really good yes it is kind of sheer but 
my skin has just such a nice glow the ekin soup palette i absolutely love it the foundation i cannot get over the foundation on my skin it looks like i have a high-end foundation on me right now that is it for this video girlies i'm hoping to have one more video up before new year's so i'm not going to say happy new year's yet but i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope i have so much more new makeup content to come in the new year please like share comment and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you all in my next one